In this video, we'll introduce you to another of Navsherpa's amazing features, Metadata Entity Management. This hidden yet extremely important Navsherpa functionality automatically creates records in lists, adds metadata, validates, and creates relations between entities and attaches them to documents. These links in SharePoint are called lookup, and they are actually the links between individual records in SharePoint. Let's see how this functionality works with an example. We have created a new purchase invoice in NAV, and through NavSherpa, we'll attach the original document scanned to PDF. Let's see what happens behind the scenes. After inserting a document, NavSherpa tries to create a record in the purchase header list. This record, however, requires that the vendor column is filled in. But this column refers to a different list called Vendors, so-called Lookup, where the vendor has not been created yet. Therefore, NavSherpa interrupts the creation of the record in the Purchase Header list and will firstly attempt to create a vendor record in the Vendors list. This entry will also fail, because when you create a record in the Vendors list, it is obligatory to first enter the primary contact, which refers in other words, look up to the contacts list. Thus, NavSherpa interrupts the creation of a record in the vendors list again and attempts to create a primary contact in the contacts list. This step is finally successful because the contacts list does not refer to any other list. NavSherpa will now begin to go back step by step and create links to existing records. First, it creates a vendor record in the vendors list including the primary contact value, with the link to the newly created contact, and then also a purchase invoice in the purchased header, and vendor record in the vendor's list. Our development team informally calls this behavior data hops. So when we look at SharePoint, we can see that all the records in the list are completed and properly linked. At the same time, other required, simple, metadata, such as invoice amount or the due date, were added. The user does not have to create links. In fact, he or she does not even have to know what the links between the lists are. Insert a document into NAV to the desired location, and NavSherpa will take care of the rest. If you'd like to learn more about Nav Sherpa, go to www.navsherpa.com.